Hello everyone. Welcome to Naples. Naples is the third largest city in Italy, two hours away from Rome and one of the best bays in Italy. So let's begin with my list of things to do and things to check out when in Naples. So first we boarded the train from Rome and reached Napoli Central which is the railway station in Naples and from there we were walking down the cobbled streets to reach our Airbnb which was in an area called Forcella. This was a very small Airbnb since we had to roam throughout the day and we did not want to expand much on the Airbnb. Thus, we took this one. It was okay-ish. It was nothing great. Let's begin with the list and first let's check out the station area which is very difficult to pronounce by the way. And over here, you could see a gamut of options to do time pass starting from restaurants to some little shops in the night this place completely transforms to a new place full of music liveliness and so many people around that you are not gonna feel bored even for once and the pizzas here are so so affordable just have a look on to my favorite part exploring the streets if you have watched my previous videos by now you know how much adventurous it is to check out the streets in Europe and this was one of its kind experience locating and exploring new places I cannot choose which one to pick we were here just for a day and a half and we started from afternoon or late evening and we directly hit this place and it was a fantastic decision because it started on a very good note with so much options to see and so much variety. This place reminded me of Thailand and particularly Bangkok. And while we were exploring walking on the streets cluelessly we found this amusement park and we were totally surprised by the beauty inside. I mean look at the options if you have kids around, if you could have a great time with them here. Naples is truly surprising me with everything, with the culture, with the places, with the people, with the shopping. So just like me, if you have forgotten to buy any souvenir for your friends and family, Naples is the place for it. You can imagine how many options you're going to get here. Come follow me. If you love shopping, this is the place for you. And as I told you, this place reminds me of Thailand, precisely Bangkok, because this has a lot of shopping options on one side and on the other there is loads and loads of food items to check out which i'm going to show you in a while so these were not very very cheap if i would say for indian standards but yes quite affordable in terms of europe standards because here i could see so many home decor items and so many clothing and shoes and bags and i went all crazy but yes i had to control my horses i just bought that hat Moving on to museums and monuments in Naples. So Naples is one of the best cities if you want to check out historical figures in here. After Rome, I really enjoyed walking around and discovering these places. Also, you could check out the app called Visit a City as I have shown you in my previous videos wherein they design a inbuilt and your kind of an itinerary right from your hotel area to wherever you want to go for a one day two day or a three day tour and it's so easy with that and here we were reaching here this place at five o'clock in the evening by then it had closed so we could not get inside this picture gallery moving on we went to other monuments 
which was one of the best experiences because these were all one of a kind and i did not see it before in my europe tour and moving on to my favorite part this one was a mall which was just near the railway station and this was fantastically designed just look at the architecture guys it is phenomenal i think the beauty is at brilliance because the sun coming into a mall is a very new concept and we went inside checked out a few stores and i being a makeup junkie went to this mia makeup store and shopped a little from here and i was quite thrilled because the prices were quite affordable talking of affordability i found out some amazing departmental stores in naples where they offered such cheap food items right from your alcohol to your cakes to your chocolates which i bought for my relatives and friends from there pizza one of italy's most famous foods originated in naples and is taken very seriously here there are even rules about what types of flour tomatoes cheese and olive oil can be used in authentic napolitan pizza it's one of its kind food items which i haven't even heard about it is basically a dough in which they fill up whatever you ask them to and they fry it and this is what is in my hand it contains cottage cheese inside and it literally tastes like indian puri filled with cheese it's really it's good but nothing extraordinary i would say as per my preference i also wanted to share this amazing juice shop which we found out on the streets and this orange juice costed just a euro and it tasted delicious and so refreshing moving on to this unique peanut dessert or i don't know what to call it we found it on the streets and it was so crunchy and yummy for a euro then moving on how can you forget gelato when in europe or in anywhere in europe basically so i found out this very cheap affordable store here and i had to dig into some gelato talking of gelatos we also found these unique looking desserts over there so let's discover the beach of naples naples is located in campania region in the southern part of the country italy It's about 2 hours south of Rome and hence on the coastline of the northern edge of the Bay of Naples which is the most beautiful bays in Italy. Right now we are in Porto di Napoli which was stunning. Into the port. We wanted the day to end on a beautiful note and thus we went to the sea to watch the sunset by the bay and I can't explain you how beautiful the moonlit night was we went on a walk right over there and spent some quality time together looking at the world as if we have nothing to do for once even during our travel we keep on planning for the next day but this particular evening will be cherished forever it is beautiful here before ending the video i wanted to make some honorable mentions regarding naples one of the one of them being the wall graffiti across naples oh my god you just have to be there to witness the beauty and we cannot help but we took a lot of pictures and i'm showing you right here and also follow me on instagram for all these touristy pictures i don't know about anything else but for sure i'm going to go a slimmer version of myself because every day i am walking literally 15000 20000 steps can you imagine thank you so much for watching guys Please like share and subscribe I will see you in my next video bye